Hello, hello everybody, this is TiptopMTG here today with another Zendikar Rising news video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking a lot about Zendikar Rising and more specifically, the collector boosters of Zendikar Rising. So, there was a giant announcement stream today and then after that, there was this article posted on Daily MTG about collecting Zendikar Rising. So, we're just going to kind of jump through here, I'm going to, you know, show you some cards and then I'm going to talk about exactly what cards you can find in the collector booster because it changes every time. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to read through this article. I've already skimmed it, and I watched the announcement, which had a lot of this information. So the first thing you should know is that Expeditions are back. Uh, they are, they have these, this really awesome frame with, you know, this, these borders, these extra lines, the little hedrons, uh, and they, there are going to be 30 of them in the set, but they're not really in the set. There are a couple ways to get them. First, they are the box top. They are a box topper for all booster boxes. So, for instance, if you buy a set booster box or a draft booster box, you will get one of these at random. Then, if you were to buy a collector booster box, you get two of these at random. And if you were and within the collector boosters, you will be able to get foil versions of these. Now, how many are there? There's about thirty, and ten of them are. Fetch lands, which means that you have a, you know, if you just buy one, say, booster box, you have a 33% chance to get one of the fetch lands. So there will be all 10 versions of the fetch lands here. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and throughout the day, they're going to be spoiling expeditions. And if you want to see a full list of expeditions, I will be talking about them in my spoiler video later today. So, yes, there are, you know, expeditions are back. Next, we have Showcase. So, every single set has a Showcase theme. So, back, it started in Throne of Eldraine with all adventures, having, you know, the, the fairy tale looking art. And then, you know, in Ikoria, and they did it in Theros too, but in, in Ikoria, there was, you know, the movie poster kind of art. In Core Set 2021, it was all based on the Planeswalkers. And here, it is all based around landfall. So all your landfall creatures are going to have this special border that's supposed to be based on adventure posters. So as we move on, think about, you know, just remember that these are expeditions. These are showcase. Next, we have Borderless. So, Borderless happens to two things. First off, it happens to Planeswalkers, so it get, they get alternate art, and they, you know, they become Borderless. The other place it happens is with the new Dual Lands, which enter the battlefield. You can choose a side, and then once it enters the battlefield, it taps for that color, and it comes in untapped. So, it's kind of an, like an original Dual Land, except it doesn't have land types, and also, uh, you choose a type after, like, you choose which side to play. So yeah, there will also be borderless versions of those, and both sides are borderless, so that's uh, pretty awesome. Next, uh, they talk about extended art. So extended art are simply cards that have their art kind of pushed to the side, and you'll notice that effect here. So we have extended, borderless, showcase, and expeditions. Um, the buy a box promo, they announced that this is going to be the buy a box promo. The only thing is, starting with Zendikar Rising, buy box promos will no longer be exclusive so aura skyclave uh Hi Hi hero fant is in the main set and is the buy box promo the only thing is the buy box promo is extended and has alternate art so if you want the extended alternate art version you get that as a bonus and i think this is probably the right way to go forcing people to either buy a single or buy a whole box just to get one card is a little crazy all right, so let's break down what's in a collector booster. So you will get one foil double-sided token. So that's the same in every single, you know, uh, collector booster. One full art basic land. And uh, I, they didn't announce whether you could get a full art foil basic land from a pack in your foil slot. But if you can't, then this may be the only place to get them. You get five foil standard frame commons and two foil standard frame uncommons. So I assume what they mean by standard frame here is just normal commons and uncommons. Although, um, I'm not exactly sure. We will look at that more, um... Down here, they are foil. I'm pretty sure they're just normal. So then you have two non-foil showcase commons or uncommons. So uh, you're going to get, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, some common or uncommon with landfall in foil in that slot, which also confirms that there are commons in with landfall, uh, which I think was pretty, you know, people thought that was going to happen, but it does. It is nice to see that confirmed. We have one foil showcase uh, common or uncommon, so you get one example of it for one of them foiled. You get one non-foiled extended art, rare or mythic, which 
you know, this is the only place to get those. You get one non-foil, borderless, or showcase rare mythic, so you're guaranteed to get at least two rares or mythics, and actually you'll notice you're actually guaranteed to get at least four rares or mythics, uh, which is kind of interesting. I believe that's an upgrade from previous sets. So yeah, you're going to get one borderless or showcase, and then you're going to get one foil standard frame, so one just normal uh, foil rare mythic, and then you're going to get one foil altern alternate frame rare mythic. So essentially, you know, let's cut out everything that doesn't really matter. Starting with rares and mythics, you're going to get a non-foil extended, so the art's going to be stretched. You're going to get a non-foil borderless, so either the borderless lands or planeswalkers, or a showcase card uh, in rare mythic, and that'll be non-foil. Then you're going to get one foil rare mythic, nothing special with it. Or, or you're going to get one foil alternate frame, so that could be Expeditions, Showcase, Borderless, or Extended Art. So Expeditions, this is where the slot's going to be, but there's 30 of them. Showcase, I expect there to be between 20 and 30 showcases. There are, I believe they announced 9 Borderless cards and Extended Arts. So there's every rare and mythic in the set. So your chances of getting a foil Expedition are quite low if they're equally distributed. So yeah, that's what's in the set. If you have any questions, this is often confusing because they have so many different things of terminology, let me know. Uh, I hope I did an okay job explaining it. Um, and they talk about here the special types of cards. So expeditions, where can you get them? You get them as non-foil expeditions, as box toppers. You get showcase landfall cards and draft boosters, set boosters, and collector boosters. Uh, you get borderless pathway cards and planeswalkers from draft booster set boosters and collector boosters you get extended art from the collector boosters you get full art basic lands in draft boosters and set boosters but collector boosters will always have a foil uh the bundles include 10 include full art basics in the 10 draft boosters inside but the 40 additional lands um, the 20 non-foil and 20 foil use a regular crop basic land instead of the full art. Similarly, co the commander decks for Zendikar Rising use, you know, non-full arts so that their full arts are worth more. Uh, and then art cards, signature cards, and the cards from the list will all be found exclusively in set boosters. So I hope this was useful. I wanted to do this quick little video just breaking down where you can find all of this information. Alrighty guys, I will see you in the next one. There will be lots more news coming out today, so stay tuned. See ya.